coming up momentarily. The gaseous oxygen vent hood will be slowly retracted away from the top of the external tank. PLT in work. Inside this tank is about 500,000 gallons of super cold liquid fuels that run the orbiter's three main engines. OTC, PLT, caution warning cleared and all expected errors. Copy. Again, everything continues to look good and we're cleared for launch today. No problems are being reported from the vehicle or the crew. T minus two minutes and counting. Gillis is both for ET, LH2, pressure is Asia. T minus one minute, 45 seconds and counting, and all systems are go. Atlantis is about 90 seconds from launch. T-minus, one minute and counting. We're transferring to orbiter internal, internal power at this time, and Atlantis is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start in about 10 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis is onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening the door to a permanent human presence in space. Houston, roger roll. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Atlantis completing its roll, placing the shuttle in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Seven seconds into the flight, Atlantis's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance. That will reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Everything looking very good for Atlantis. Almost one minute into the flight, the main engine's now beginning to rev up. Go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Terry Wilcutt aboard Atlantis. Wilcutt joined on the flight deck by pilot Scott Altman, flight engineer Rick Mastracchio, and mission specialist Ed Liu. Down on the mid-deck, mission specialists Dan Burbank, Yuri Malenchenko, and Boris Maryukov representing the Russian Aviation and Space Agency. Atlantis already 16 miles in altitude, 13 miles downrange, traveling at a relative inertial speed of 2,200 miles per hour. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three good hydraulic power units aboard the orbiter. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. SRB separation confirmed.
Atlantis, two engine Tau. Copy, two engine Tau. That call indicating that if one engine should fail, Atlantis could reach its transoceanic abort site at Zaragoza, Spain. However, all three main engines continue to function normally. Atlantis now traveling 3,500 miles per hour, 43 miles in altitude, 65 miles downrange. A good orbiter so far for the seven astronauts and cosmonauts on board.